All right. What now, I wanted to ask is this, because I always kept, you know, I'm one of the type of niggas that did music because I was getting into the production myself. I, when it came to music, I loved music so much, I always kept up with everything. I always read the back of album credits. I always read all that shit. When I heard that you was fucking with Devontae, and I heard that you did the Tupac Bring the Pain beat, yeah. okay, I always heard you say, you know, SMK did that track. Yes. Sir. So, what I want you to explain is the actual process of how you do the song. But somebody else take the credit for doing the song. That goes like this for you producers. When you're signed to a production company that's ran by somebody else, when you produce a track, it goes under that person's credit. It say produced by you for that person's production company. Or you could just be a producer and you get work for hire and they get the credit and it's just say produced by so-and-so productions. And that's how that company gets the credit. Or they can say, well, we'll put our name on it so that they can get the money because they have a name. And you don't have no name as a producer. So now you may get 20000 for that track, but they name go on top of it. And that's just that until you're able to start your own production company. So to all producers, just start your own production company. And when you do music, do it under that company slash the next person. If they do production credit on it or publishing, and that's all it is, just get your credits. That's right. That's, yeah, right. Yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about. Now, also, you know, just again, you know, like I said, keeping up with what what you were doing, knowing that you were with Devontae. Devontae had you under his wing. He also brought under his wing, wing young cat from, from from Virginia by the name of Tim Mosley. Everybody know him as Timberland. The rumor is, <laughs> the rumor is, yeah. the triplet yeah. style of production yeah. when niggas started <laughs> in the beats, in the hip hop beats, in the R&B with Aaliyah and Genuine and all that. The rumor is that you brought that to the game. Yeah. Devontae used it. On a couple of tracks that he put out there, one in particular I remember hearing from the Another Professor soundtrack when he remade the Love You Down. See, that's how much I keep up with music. <laughs> I hear that style, but then I turn around and hear that style. That was Devontae's production, but I had to turn around and hear that style again when I listen to Genuine, I'll Do Anything, or the one I gave my heart to by Lil, or you know what I'm saying, those those records that, that had that incorporated that and the Are You That Somebody that Tim Miller did. I heard that you were the originator of that style. Now clarify the room for you, boy, man. Who originated that style, bro? All right, first of all. Here we go. <laughs> this is how he got the style. He really, everybody, any producer could do the style because you seen when it came out. But I did it for the Gangster Walker. That's how we get down to Memphis with the do doom 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 pat pat And Endo G and Lil Blunt. That's basically, it was Missy that liked it, the style. She said, SMK, I like Indo G and Lil Blunt, and I like the style of music that they sang, that they rapping on, and I would love to sing on that style of production. So Timberland had to imitate SMK, the, the satisfied Missy, and the group sister, and all the other R&B artists, because I was a rap producer, not an R&B producer. So that's why it was cool for him to run with the, saying that he did this or that, because he could imitate it. But far as what the the pony beat and the, the one in a million a lyre, that was SMK. And if you listen to Endo G and Lil Blunt, you will hear the same rap style that they that Magoo and Timberland and Missy use and up jumps the boogie. And I ha I don't have to say no more right there. Listen to <laughs> Endo and Blunt and you gonna hear Endo, Endo motherfucker scrape from Tennessee. Yeah. Back. Tell us the green yeah, in yeah. pimpology <laughs> on lying. my radio. I Don't to touch my dad. Two years before. Way before. Way before. Yeah, it was before Way that. Way before. But I must oh. give a shout out, rest in peace, to to player, you know, to, to my boys in Black Static, Static, yeah, Static and Major. Major. Them, them the true players. That's how the style really got into Devontae and them camp. They brought the Indo-G and Lil Blunt cassette 
to the studio and said, yo, we need beats like this, Timbaland, that we could sing on. So, peace out to Timbaland. I'm going to see, you know, you done had rap battles, but we finna have a beat battle. <laughs> <laughs> man, y'all heard what it is. This is behind the scenes shit for members of our weekly, man. We had to put this out here for this. This is this is the educational part when we ain't got time to, we only got a certain amount of time within our show limits to show y'all and give y'all the real, 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 real deal with the real, real stuff. Just to let you know how influential Memphis is to mem to hip hop as a whole, not just the Memphis, but as a whole, we've always had thick folks come back and forth, taking what we had and taking it out there, going all the way back to MC Hammer doing Get Buck on Arsenio Hall. But y'all didn't think I remember right. that, did it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. He, he said I did. He said, but he did say I did get this from Memphis. Right. Yeah, he did but, say that. But it became a nationwide thing. But I ain't seen nobody from Memphis getting no money. That's right. But the gangster walk started right here. The get buck started right here. The Bovane struck all this stuff we used to do, them walks we used to do, started right here in Memphis. And SMK is an original Memphis hop producer. Notice I said Memphis hop. Memphis hip hop. Shout out to my homeboy Queen. Shout out to my homeboy Quinn. I'm, I'll catch it up here. That's right. Shout, shout out to my homeboy. <laughs> shout out to my homeboy Quinn. Mighty Quinn for the coining that phrase, Memphis hop. Memphis hip hop. Yeah. You know okay, what I'm saying? Memphis hop. Milf Hop. Milf Hop. That's yeah. right. And Timberland. Beat Biter. Dope Style Taker. Tell you to your face. Yeah, he ain't nothing but a. Oh. Faker. Ow! Ooh. Yes, sir. Ooh. There it is. <laughs> you heard it, Memphis Hip Hop Weekly. Tune in, turn up, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs>